another Wicca book. Yeah, traditional Wicca by Thorne Mooney. I'll say it again with, and I don't know if this is going to be before or after my other review. I this is the second book I've read this month on Wicca, and. As I've said it before, I have moved on from practicing Wicca, so I knew this book wasn't going to change me back to Wicca or to the traditional traditional Wicca path. But if traditional Wicca is the path you want to go to, this is a book specific on that path. So, while well, other books are just more general, it doesn't go into the specific Wiccan traditions. It's more of a overlapping kind of thing, where this goes this goes more into the specific a uh, specific tradition, tradition traditional Wicca is what it's talking about. So there's three parts: uh, one, meeting the Wicca. It's not long. Part two, defining traditional Wicca, and three, seeking, seeking traditional Wicca. There's an epilogue and further reading if you want to know more. And it's the author's selection of Wicca that could help you in your path in Wicca. So... There are two quotes I wrote down. So, some witches, witches especially, see their witchcraft as necessarily tied to a spiritual practice. Others see it as, as purely craft, which may be combined with religion or may be employed from a secular, pra secular perspective. So, this I can, this, like, explanation I can, like, somewhat deal with. Like, other, like, there are Wiccan authors who merge Wicca and witchcraft as the same thing, and they interchange those two wordings as, like, the same thing. And that is, like, with this, the, with that quote, <coughs> like, to me, is, like, Thorne is, re like, recognizing, is, like, recognizing that there are people, like, he's saying that, that there are people that see it, like, witchcraft is integrated into their path where others separate it, and others just see it as, like, one thing, but to many other people, they're two separate things. So, and, uh, 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 the other one is fine. <laughs> so, um, but there are some quotes throughout the book from, like, other people. A few other people. Some are just about a paragraph. Others are about a page. It's talking about Wicca that has been brought in by the author. There's uh, terms. There's mentions of like books and people in the Wiccan community, an introduction to traditional Wicca, like specific tradition where others may discuss Wicca, but not specific traditions. So it goes into the red flags and explains them and some like stories with them. So it's some 
books, just like skip over the red flags or just like skim past them. But like this book doesn't go like in depth into the red flags, but it says here's some red flags that you may be worrying about if when going into the co a coven and the community of traditional Wicca. And there, like to me, there is a bit of a focus of joining a coven where like being part of a coven is the focus, like the, not the focus, but uh, part of you being a traditional Wic Wiccan where like you would need that community and like the author is stating more and more of us who practice the craft are solitary practitioners and the author is stating that you need to have that community like to me that you need to like be part of the be part of a group and community but like to me like even if we're solitary like myself there is a community out there like we're talking to, to each other on YouTube on Instagram like I'm not tw on Twitter anymore but there are people who connect with each other on Twitter some people are doing it on Tumblr, on their blogs, but sometimes even going to like festivals, there's that community, even if it's like once a year type thing. But there's a focus on learn, like learning and education. Again, the focus on coven and community. There's the talk about year and a day. So many do take a year and a day to learn and practice and before they fully like dedicate themselves so it like the author stating that system is a good way to not fully jump in but learn about everything and once you're once you do it if you're like yes I'm ready let's go you're all good and there is talk of like hierarchy slash coven structure so there's like to me there's that focus on being you being part of a coven you having like this system that hierarchy system of bottom to top kind of top to bottom kind of thing like there's something wrong with that but Traditional Wicca, I don't think is going to be for me, but it is. If, but if it is for you, you have you have a book that is out there to read, to have a look at, to go back to. It is worth a read if you are again wanting to go down the path of traditional Wicca. So. Never, th <laughs> yeah. So twice in one month, I read a book on Wicca. I don't think I would have gone back to reading books on Wicca, but has happened, and it could happen again. So, but yeah, traditional Wicca by Thor Thorn Mooney. Happy readings.